I got Hey everybody, I'm Troy Baker. And I'm Nolan North. And this is Retro Replay, where we go back and play through some of time's greatest classic retro games, either console or in today's. Some of time's greatest? Times. Some of time's Like time greatest. life, you know, like the time like greatest life. Greatest of all times? <laughs> greatest of all times. Doesn't matter, it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Woo! I mean, come Double on. feature though, this is the first time we're gonna show you the console and the arcade version. Yes. Because the console version, we've had like this running theme of like the hardest games. We did Ninja, Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden. Started off with Spider-Man. Which, which was one of my personal least just favorites. to this day. Uh, yeah. And then this is is the NES version, the 1980. 89. But here's, what was last the last year of the 80s? Yeah. Purportedly. Even the 1990s still kind of count. It just kind of no, it didn't. No, it was like eighty nine, man. Was Arsenio Hall on? Because Arsenio Hall to me is like the demarcation point between the eighties and the nineties. Like in Arsenio Living Color, Hall, in Arsenio Hall in Living Color. That's when I felt like we started moving from the eighties into the nineties. Boy bands is what gets me. I think that's, the nineties was. Well, but you also had New Kids on the Block, which was in the eighties. I know way too they much about this. Boy, yeah, I guess they were. Were they? They were like they yes. Were, were they? How old they were, they? were they? They, they were so boys. Old. There was new know. kids on the block. <laughs> they were children. I don't know. The Wahlbergs are like 76 now. 74 and 75. So, yeah. And this is near and dear to my heart because... TMNT. TMNT. Oh, my gosh! Raphael and that. And then I got to be the evil Krang in the, the recent series. So I, I was, Did you? Yeah, I was the main... I was the Krang. And I was Bishop, the main Krang guy for, for, the, for the, the Nickelodeon TV series. So... Did you watch the show like when it when it came on originally, like in the eighties? You know, I wasn't no, because I was a little past that. But I know, like one of my heroes, I think one of yours is Rob Paulson. Robbie Paulson. And he was the original Raphael, and I mean, it's just like, and man, unless I dreamt this, this is how I remember it. Nineteen eighty-seven, Sunday night yeah. television. This cartoon comes on. And it's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which was based on the graphic novel, which I think was originally black and white, wasn't it? It's a yeah, black, oh, and yeah, white, yeah. black and white graphic novel. And then all of a sudden, it was... Kevin Eastman and Peter Laird created it. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm, part, I'm actually part of the lore now. TMNT movie, man, that was, that was kind of a breakout thing for my career, actually. Was it? Oh, yeah. No, that was a big deal. I mean, because it was me, uh, James Arnold Taylor, Mitchell Whitfield, and Mikey Kelly. <sighs> And they they wanted they felt like the turtles were celebrities themselves, so that's why they didn't cast celebrity voices. Mm. They wanted you know voiceover actors. Uh, so the four of us uh, did it, and um, it was funny because uh, then they put Patrick Stewart and Sarah Michelle Gellar, and Captain America himself. Was Chris Casey. Evans. Chris Evans was Casey uh, Casey Jones. I could have done. Chris Evans was Casey Jones? Yeah, and it was cool because one of the, uh, the producers of the, of the show is actually very funny. He said, he walked out, he's, he said, if I ever th was wondering if I cast the show right, for the, tur for the Four Turtles right, he said, after one of the sessions, he walked out and Leonardo, James Arnold Taylor, got out into his Porsche. Raphael, me, got into my Nissan Titan pickup truck. Raphael. Mitchell Whitfield, uh, I think he had a, a, a Subaru, uh, you know, and he played uh, ah, Donatello. Donatello, and Mikey Kelly got into like a, like a, a Honda Civic or something. I don't know what he was driving, but it was like each car fit the personalities of those two. Were they the right colors? No. Was those yours like red? Yeah, I had a red pickup. <laughs> For those <laughs> hot Saturday nights. So what you're about to experience, uh, push the start. I just did. Is th this is this is a hellaciously difficult game. It's just notoriously, notoriously hard. Why do when you I start, always say that? Just blame this on Drew. But also everybody, when we started doing this, before we even showed the first episode. Everybody we talked to, like Neil Druckmann was like, you gotta play Oh no, tea. what is that? Bingo, perfect case example. So, Leonardo got caught, who fights next? Are you, what? Bingo, welcome to the, welcome to the show. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Just making great music. Oh, yeah, I'm going back up. That's, now, I like the sewers, you know. That's where I do my best work. Oh, no, an oh. androgynous blue man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, look what I did to your neck. Again, you're fighting crabs. You know what, That's that, that happens. You know what, kids, uh, I'm just gonna say. Strap it up. Oh, there's pizza, and there's a way out. There's pizza, that's life. By the way, pizza, it's, it's really good. People used is to say that, that what you're talking about right now? Is this yeah. like a revelation to you? Well, no, they like pizza, and it's like, I, I'm just kind of a pizza guy. Like, they say pizza's like sex. It's like, even when it's not very good, it's it makes still you cry. pretty good. There's always tears. <laughs> What is, what is he doing up there to her? Just that ain't, uh, you know what? I'm gonna tell you right now, that ain't right. Boy, that ain't right. Boy, that ain't right. I'll just say this, that ain't right. That, I'm you, not, you, my friend, not. you need to find yourself some health. Now, I try to go into that, see that's an open door? What, I just try to here? walk into it. Right just in here? walk into it, see what happens. I didn't know that was Hey, look at there, look at there. There's that big old slice of pizza. That's what you want, boy. I'm having like. How do I get that picture there? I'm having Batman flashbacks right now, Drew. Come on, baby. You know what I mean? Ba -da -ba -ba Dude, on. that game. Maybe we, maybe we should play that. that one next. Can I ask you something seriously? Who would go up that ladder? There's there's a guy with a chainsaw and someone throwing things and batarangs and and I don't. So that's so awful. so you especially as as Donatello can. Psh, psh, there you go. See. Oh. That's genius. Through the floor? Yeah, but see what happens to that guy? He ain't no fool. He gonna wait. He just gonna wait. He just uh, gonna wait. Oh no. Just gonna go through every, ah! He's a slippery sucker. I'm just gonna go into a ball. Quick, Peter, curl up into an ass ball. <laughs> Hold on, can I get the pizza with my stick? Oh no, that thing is here. That thing is up See, here. every time you move back off screen, you, you respawn. Patience. Oh my goodness, they got me. Well, once again, Come over. Brian Nolan <laughs> fell again through level one. Trying to get past that level there one, you go. starting to back all the way over Why don't you at just give the it a, beginning. Give it a Leonardo good Just try. go ahead and see what Leonardo can do. Leonardo. Leonardo has the... Uh, Leonardo has the sword, oh, you just, uh, you, which you, is uh, might way, way more powerful than a bow staff, which is pen, just You should have wood. a pen because it's mightier than a sword. It's terrible. So, spin, spin, spin. Look at that. I know, but the problem is, you must find a pizza. Of course. Oh, there's pizza. You want that. Uh, whoa, where'd you get that? That's crazy. Where'd that, where'd that come from? So it was a little power up that I got. <gasps> where did you see that? I only have like six left though. Come uh. on, come on. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby, yeah. Oh no. Really? You are, you are nothing but soup. All right, this is Raphael. We're going down into the toilet. Yeah, how's that? I have some of that. Pam and I were going through like classic Disney movies now that like we've got travelers here and we're it like inspired us to go through and watch like Cinderella and all those. There's no celebrities in those movies. No, there should there be. Kids no. don't care. There was a there was a penis on the cover of Little Mermaid, I think. I had to pull that cover. Was it really a penis? It or was. The the story is that one of the artists got fired and completed the work. They're like, here's your artwork, and they released it before they realized it was a nice, big dick. Really? Yeah, there's tons of those. Like, did you see the sex in Lion King? I, I, I. When, when Simba, like, collapses and, like, the leaves flow into the wind, it spells out sex. What and, is, what is wrong with these guys? And then why, there's, why a, there's a moment in Aladdin. Why that guy? There's a moment in Aladdin where uh, somebody whispers, take off your clothes. In Fantasia, there's a like a little sprite that masturbates. Can we watch that right now? Blitch, All right, we're gonna blitch, just blitch, hit, hit the bats. Blitch, there you go. Blitch, come here, blitch. come here, Leatherface. What are you ever you doing with your blitch, stupid? Blitch. Nice pull, Leatherface. Hey, blink, right? blink, What's he blink. doing? Yeah. Oh, hey, hey. Hey. oh, you hit me in the foot. Hey, that hurts. Yeah. Blitch. What's funny is he seems like he's trapped, but he's got a chainsaw and it's a big wood box. 
Go up there. I'm trying to go up there. Don't be afraid. Just I must move get... up there. There it is. Get that peach you earned it. I didn't want to get down low. Get that, that peach that, here you we're going, done. We're earned it, in. boy. Get another. Get another. That's it. Get, get another. Get, get another. Some. Get some. I'm going to get up. What is that? That looks That's like a... That's a whole peach. That's a power up. I gets it. Well, shit. Now I'm stuck behind a box. Hey, well, you know what? Well, shit. You know what? This is how I play games. I'm just going to hide back here. You all come to me. You just, you come What's on. What's up? Come on. What's up? Hide and go seek. How you want to do this? auction free. Maybe your flip is your friend, dude. Yeah. You're, you're, you're doing too much on the ground. Whoa. Holy crap. That was awesome. Okay. All right, get ready. There's Bebop coming at you. Booch. Douche, 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 douche. Yeah, that boomerang is your friend right now. Ah. Uh. All right, and let Rocksteady take April O'Neil wherever he's gonna take her. <laughs> we know where he's taking her. Uh oh, maybe there. Bebop, you now, Bebop. That's bad. You understand? I, do I need to go into this thing? Or do I think I should? Why do, is this? This game should be called uh, Turtle Holes because you just go into holes. Seeing the life and sustenance that they get from pizza makes me want to have pizza. Uh, see the life and sustenance that I just got? Here. Oh my gosh. So here we are, retro replay. We are ordering pizza. <laughs> nice promo. Thank you. <laughs> what kind of pizza do we order? Well, your pizza could oh, be here no! on our lap. We're looking for sponsors. Any sponsor. Even if your pizza's shit. Uh, We'll eat it. Damn it. Because pizza's good. What would you, what's your favorite toppings on a pizza? Uh, I, man, I'm a pepperoni guy. Let's or, go pepperoni. Or, or pepperoni, Canadian bacon. I'm, uh, I like the meats. Um, okay, okay, ready? Let's, we're going into this. No, don't, don't. You it doesn't, know. no. It doesn't, it's stupid. I did it when I was a kid. And I did it because I didn't have a choice. Because it was a benevolent dictatorship that I lived in. And it wasn't like, hey, what do you want for dinner tonight? Your parents chose what you want. And they would be the ones that would be like, guess what? You're having meat and a fruit on a pizza. And it, no, it doesn't belong. It's stupid. Tomatoes or fruit? This is an extremely hard game. Every game right now is being very, very difficult. Seriously should have called this show Game Over. Mm -hmm. Game Over, push start. That's the name of this show. Because that's all we do. Here we go. Push start. Okay. <laughs> Great. I'm texting my wife because she's home alone with our 10-day-old baby. You have a 10-day-old baby? 10 days old. Gross. It's freaking rad. Yeah. This is her first time to be alone. That's got to be scary. I'd be panicked. I'd be absolutely, I would much rather be literally in these sewers right now. My wife and I just, when we had the baby, we just were like, don't let it die. Did you, do you remember the first time you were alone with like Cooper? Uh, never have been alone. It's a court order. You know, uh, by the way, major props out there to anybody who is, you know, been a serious player of this game and is really good. Um, your hand-eye coordination is phenomenal. That's what you're gonna commend almost, them for? Almost as strong as their patience level because- That's what I would commend somebody for. It's, really? It's like, yeah. I mean, these little, I don't know what, it looks like a, it's like a crawling, you know what it looks like? of like a toucan. You know what it kind of looks like, actually? It looks like uh, the, the Kansas Jayhawks, uh, you know, Rock oh, Chalk Jayhawks. So you think I can anywhere relate to you with that? Oh, come on, just pretend you're a man, just for a little bit. Yeah, but I know Kansas City barbecue. Oh, it's, right. It's not good barbecue, because I'm from Texas, but it's good stuff. Uh... All barbecue is good barbecue. Oh. At the college in North Carolina, it's good. Texas, great barbecue. Great. Well, we barbecue. were at the Kansas City Con together. Man, I gotta say, the that, burnt that made ends. me eat my words. Those burnt ends. It was good stuff. Our side dish was bourbon. That's true. <laughs> just, but like our, our 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 server was felt like an aunt that just cooked for us. She's like, you guys get enough? She yeah. was awesome and we just What was that one dish? She said, Y'all want like Beans, macaroni and cheese, and bits, and bacon, and... There was, yeah, there was some weird side dish that we were like, no, that's disgusting, and she told us, I remember, no, no, you want this. I think it was beans, barbecue brisket, burnt ends, pulled pork, and like cornbread. Yeah. Wasn't it cornbread in it? And like banana pudding. It was something oh, ridiculous. yeah. It was good. We ate a while. Ah, oh, that little boar just... Dude, bebop. 
Here's what we're going to do. Here's what I say hey, we hold do. Hold on, hold on a second. Is that the map above it? Yeah. That's area one, by the way. <laughs> area one. How many areas are there in this There's game? There's like 13. It's stupid. There's an underwater level that's... Here's what we're going to do. Let's flip over to the con from the console version. Let's flip over to the arcade version. That little okay. side-scroller, badass version of this game. What do you say? I'm into it. And hopefully we can get some pizza. It's the only thing that'll save this night. Oh. Did I shave my knees for this? <laughs> yes, uh, this no, feels better. No. So th Te look, now this feels better. This this reminds me, A, it's more like the show, and this reminds me of like the actual stand-up arcade version. Yes, it does. Uh, it's a two-player game. A two. Hang on, April. Hang oh, on look, April. that rat never does anything. So, do, do, so this is just like the... You're not doing the... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja I, Turtles. I have not inserted coins. Well, dude, get in here, homie. Uh, how do I do that? Ah, uh, see? Oh, I just, I just whipped some ass. This feels so much better. Hit buttons. Joggle joystick, I, what, joggle, jog, there is no joystick. Don't tell me what to do. I'm in the fire, I'm in the fire, I'm soup. <laughs> I'm soup. <laughs> Hold on, I don't understand. He's not moving. No, am I the blue? Yeah. Shell shock. I'm in shell shock. Game over. Hey, get me back in. So normally, who are these guys? These are just well, these are Shredder's guys. Oh, well, oh, I mean, they, they, this is the the Foot Clan. I mean, yes. Well done. Why would they? I told you I'm part of this lore. Name dropper. I oh, am. did I you am. see that? But but uh, go up the stairs. Run away from these guys. Sometimes it's okay to run away. Why and is I there just, so much fire? There's like just everything's that on fire. That's unnecessary. Well, that's what they said. That's what prompted this whole thing. They were like fire, and Master Shredder was like, "You guys should probably go into that building." What is with that rat? He the, the guy is. The guy, he's the, the guy's like a stuff. glutton for punishment. He's like, hey, I'll be over here doing rat stuff, you know? No, no, no. My job is to be your sensei. You, you, you yeah. guys, you guys Where go is fight. sensei? He's eating garbage. <laughs> he's a rat. And giving people diseases. Why waggle. I love that. Waggle the joystick. Give it, give it a waggle, will you? Give it a waggle. Go, that take, would be take nice. Take your joystick and give it. Are oh. you? Oh. But Timothy, are you in the are you in the, the, the loo waggling your like, joystick? It's like Terry going to the toilet. Is that what's know? going on? Terry, are you giving Terry, your joystick a waggle? I'm giving it a waggle, you know. Terry's always giving his joystick That's a waggle. That's what he does. It gives it a waggle. What is that thing? It's not, it's not, I, I do not resist us. I thought that was Brian from Family Guy at first. No. But it's a robot. I am getting my ass handed to me. Ugh. See, you know what the lesson here is? We're better with more people. Like, we're better with friends. Yeah, but when your friends break joysticks um, oh, and emulators. Did I do it? Hey, I did it. You can help. Like, you could call the fire department. You could just do anything. Hello? 911, yes. Uh, I'd like to report an emergency. Uh, well, it looks like there's a fire and there's men with swords and uh, purple smocks. <laughs> and robots, yes. <laughs> and somebody is throwing large metal balls down the stairwell. <laughs> there's a lot of property damage. <laughs> is there anybody else I can talk to? <laughs> it really sounds like you're stuck between mattresses. <laughs> really? What are you wearing? So your prayers, titles. Say your prayers, Tur- Oh, actually, look, look It actually at him. said Toitles. Well, you know, that's the Rhino guy. What was, what was his name? Bebop. Uh, sorry, Rocksteady. Rocksteady. Bebop was the other one. Oh, you just you just put a whoop down yeah, on him. Yeah, I, I, I kicked his ass. Bunch. Hey, what you doing? Hey, look at that Rhino. He's awful horny. <laughs> 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 because he has horns on his nose. Don't explain the joke. Why does he not uh, just Shell shoot shot. her? Come on, rock steady. And we began to rock steady. 
Steady rocking all night long. All night long. Steady rock. Steady. I may have pulled a muscle in my lower back. I had a cool moment on the set of uh, Turtles, the Nickelodeon show. I got the, you know, Sean Astin played Raphael. Yes. And they had um, Corey Feldman come in to play somebody. And I Did he dance sat in between them and I was like, I feel like I'm in, a, in the Goonies too. In the Goonies. Goonies too. And I sat there. Was there still like some camaraderie there? Or was yeah. it kind of like we did a thing together once? No, it was pretty cool. Yeah, but it was funny because, you know, uh, I brought in a, an inhaler with Asden every time I no. worked with him. And I was like, he shot through the glass and like, we're gonna get one-eyed Willie. Yeah, I, I felt like that name was pitched and they're like, we're not actually gonna keep that name, right? I mean, we can't call. That was a placeholder. Yeah, it was a total placeholder thing. They're like, all right guys, we're filming uh, scene 24 is, oh my God, we never went through the script and came up with a different pirate name. And we, gotta, we gotta keep it. Now it's one-eyed Willie. Like the, what's what's like really disturbing is they first heard that story about One-Eyed Willie from his father. Like his father was like, "Let me tell you the story of One-Eyed Willie." You I'll, know what? I'm I'll show you this. Place. I'm gonna stop you <laughs> because I love that movie. I love that I mean, movie too. And by the way, if you go back and look at the cast, okay, Josh, Josh Brolin, Brolin. I mean, the the cast is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anne Ramsey. Uh, it. it Sean Astin, uh, Corey Feldman. To this day, if it's kind of like overcast and not cold but not warm on yeah. a Saturday, that's Goonies weather. Really? That's Goonies weather to me, absolutely. Like I feel like I'm in the Pacific Northwest and it's that day where it's, it's a weekend day and... Did they ever do a Goonies video game? How great would that be? Wait a minute. Drew, is there a Goonies video game? Drew left. Drew quit because I broke this. Here's what I'm learning right now. Here's the thing. I hated going to the arcade by myself, but I was always that kid that went to the arcade by myself. You had no friends. Because I, I had a, my babysitter cost $5. Because my parents would drop me off to the arcade, give me five bucks, and that would hold me over. Hopefully, it was up to me. Like, I right. had to be resilient. It was either you play Spy Hunter for 25 cents, or you, like, do something that, like, do Afterburner, which costs 50 or 75 cents, and you go through your money faster. And so that's how I learned, like, my basic... Budgeting? E economics and budgeting. There you go. Was I've got five dollars, how long can I make this last? And there were times when I blew through it because there was some brand new game that was there, and I was stuck watching other people play for an hour. So I, I learned to love watching people play. I used to do that. I used to, I wasn't very good. I had a few games I was pretty good at when I did play, but I used to love to watch those guys that, that just, or, or, or girls that would just rock a game. And they would just cry, and you're like, how are they doing that? This and I remember the big deal, do you remember the big deal like trying to put up your initials? Hell yeah. Uh, you know, at the high score. Hell yeah. I remember get, getting mine up for a couple, but there was like, I was no way I was approaching some of those guys that had the, you know, the, the, what I would call the ready player one stats. Yeah, you know, yeah, those yeah. things those, that, that are like when you, off the chain. When you like, like right there, like you see on the screen, there's the, those initials that are there. Yeah. When you actually, every arcade had like their legends, you know, like you saw that kid that came in yeah. and all he would play would be Street Fighter. And... And he always played with Ryu. He always played with Ken. Or he always played with you know Liu Kang. When they started introducing like Chun Li and all these female characters into video games, that's when you saw like this gender shift in arcades. Like there was now more of a balance because there were girls that were coming in that finally felt like they were, were like had someone they could play. Because you don't always want to play Donatello. You don't want to play Michelangelo. You want to play someone that feels like you're the one. Samus and Metroid was a woman. You know. There finally were these strong female characters. But to wit, this was one of those games that sucked to play by yourself because it's not designed to play solo. No, no but it's, but it's, designed, a, it's a camaraderie that, that yeah, because sells the game. This whole thing it's the camaraderie is, and that friendship that sold the shows, too. Absolutely. Do you know what I don't get what do about like? arcade stuff? And people, you know, I mean, you guys don't really, growing up with you know, the home console and everything, they don't get this. 
And it's weird because, you know, we grew up at a certain point where people were thought that it was just the nerds playing video games. Let me tell you something. The coolest guy in school was the guy who rocked out Pac-Man or, you know, one of the, one of the things at the arcade. He had the leather jacket. He had the, the shirt. I remember this one guy, he must have been 17, but he had the cigarettes rolled in his, his thing. And he just, he was, a, he was a, and like all the girls be, were around him and were looking and they were like, they were cool guys in, in those arcades. They were like the kings. David Lightman in War Games is not a nerd. No, no, exactly. Matthew Broderick in War Games was not a nerd. He was a little bit, you see like early Ferris Bueller. Like he's, oh, yeah. he's the one that everybody, he's the smart ass, he's the class clown. And he's yeah. just, you find him at the, the pizza parlor playing Galaga. Like that's who he is. So no, I don't. I, but I, I don't know where that took that turn. I, I don't know if it, when it, if it was something about when like consoles came to the house. I never thought about that, you know. But if you, if you think about it now, it's like when was that shift? Because I remember some of those guys were the coolest guys to be around. You want to be with, you want to, you would give them your quarters just like, I just want to watch you play. Right. They were like, that's what cool. I'm saying. Like those rock stars that came in, that guy that could play with Liu Kang on Mortal Kombat and just destroy people. Like you would watch him. People would like that whole thing and put the quarter up. That's, you learn manners. Like, I got next. That whole phrase. Of course, those guys are like way beyond their time. But can you imagine them coming back now? They're like 57. <laughs> they're 63 years old and they're like, pro gaming. Pro gaming. <laughs> I could have made me? money at this. I could have. Uh, are I you kidding me? A king. They're still like, if they were in esports right now and sold out Staples Center, they would just not be a break even with the amount of money like... With and oh. judging from inflation. You know what I want to do? What do you want to do? I want a pizza still. What do you want to do? We're going to go get pizza. Let's go get pizza. And this is what we're going to do. Stay tuned to Retro Replay because I, I next oh. week, next episode, yes. we're going old school. We're going RG OG? old school. Not going to give it away. We're going old school. OG. And it's going to be a game that I could play. All right. Retro Replay. I'm not going to ask you what we're going to play next because I'm going to tell you what we're playing next. Oh, shh. See you next time. Peace.